So at MIT Hacking Medicine, we believe that a hackathon shouldn't just be about programmers or coders coming together to create some kind of new software. Uh, we believe that health hackathons should be different. They should be open to anybody from a diverse set of backgrounds, whether it's an engineer, a coder, a designer, a medical professional, bringing all the expertise together to solve big healthcare problems. So on Friday, all the participants gathered and were given the ability to pitch certain problems that they see within the healthcare industry and then start to form teams around those problems. And then from there on, they're hacking. And so all throughout Saturday, it was a very long day for them, about 16 hours, and they were hacking straight through. The best way to get a good hackathon team is to find a diverse team. If you have a really unique skill set and you find somebody that has the same skill set, you're redundant. What you want to find is somebody different from you that has a different perspective, a different lens. Personally, I would be an electronic biomedical engineer, so I see an awful lot of value in uh, the Internet of Things. What I bring to the party this evening is about 10 years experience in marketing. About 15 years in the industry, before that I worked in as a doctor, probably about six, seven years, mainly in emergency medicine. You can you know, go out with your friends and brainstorm and come up with a good idea, but chances are it's not going to move forward much beyond that. And what we try to provide in a hackathon is everything that you might need to take that from just the discussion to an actual prototype. The hackathon has been a very, very positive experience because what we are actually working on is a genuine clinical problem which will actually really impact real patients. It's been really great to have such concentrated but good quality work come out of a group of people that only met on Friday night. We came together, we ideated, we came up with a problem, we found a solution, we prototyped it and it's been a very, very interesting journey. It's amazing when you bring a few people together who never met each other before, what they can achieve in a very short space of time. One of the things that really stood out to me in terms of differences between hackathons here and uh, in the United States uh, very different problems. I didn't really have a good handle on what the problems were in, in uh, Ireland. We've got a very different healthcare system, we've got a very different population, and the problems that people experience are going to be very different as a result. The HSC and the IPHA are some of the key sponsors, I would say, of the event. I would hope that they would take some of what comes out of here and look to use it and integrate it into some of the local hospitals and create a pilot off of it. It's about to get really, really exciting. And just about an hour, judges will start to arrive. They're going to take a, a lap throughout the space and see what people have been working on. They're going to see some of the solutions. Maybe they'll play with some of the prototypes that have been developed. After that, they're going to have four minutes to present. Um, and so by 7 o'clock, we should have a winner. After the hackathon, we truly hope that teams will continue on either working on the projects that they proposed this weekend or even future projects. As far as the level of passion and, and results, um, I think the nine teams will really stand out as some of the, the top players of the year.